Hello everyone, welcome to Backbenchers Coding. In the previous Android tutorial, we have learnt about simple dialog, login dialog and seek part dialog. Now it's time to learn about date picker dialog and time picker dialog. So if we click on date picker dialog button, this dialog box will appear and if we click on time picker dialog button, then time picker dialog will appear. Let me give you an overview of what we had done previously. We had created 5 buttons over here out of which we have studied about the top 3 and now we are going to learn about date picker dialog button and time picker dialog button. So go to mainactivity.java and follow the 3 simple steps we have used that is create class variables, obtain their xml controls in the form of java by using find view by id and finally attach on click listener. So we are going to follow these 3 steps for date picker button and time picker button as well. So create class variable button, date picker button, obtain its xml control in the form of java by using find view by id, so date picker button equals button, find view by id, r.id dot date picker dialog and now we are going to attach an on click listener to this button, so go here, date picker button dot set on click listener within which we are going to write new view.onclicklistener which overrides onclick method and now we are going to create alert dialog dot builders object so alert dialog dot builder builder equals new alert dialog and within which we pass as argument main activity dot this after which we use this builder to set title and icon so builder dot set title and the title here is date picker and we will set icon as we had done previously so builder dot set icon within which we pass as argument r dot mipmap dot ic launcher as this image ic launcher is stored in our mipmap folder and now we create a variable for simple date format so final simple date format and create its object as simple date format equals new simple date format within which we pass the format which we want to see in our dialog this is for date and this is for month and this is for year and suppose if you want to use us time convention then we write local.us and now we create a calendar object final calendar calendar equals calendar.get instance and now we create date picker dialog object date picker dialog date picker dialog equals new date picker dialog within which we pass as first argument main activity dot this and the second argument as new date picker dialog dot on date set listener so new date picker dialog dot on date set listener which overrides the method on date set before we write this overridden method here we have to first complete date picker dialog arguments so we write calendar dot get calendar dot year next we write calendar dot get within which we write as argument calendar dot month after which we write calendar dot get within which we write calendar dot day of month and after this we write date picker dialog dot show method which shows this dialog now if you want to generate a toast so we have to use this overridden method for that we are going to write calendar dot set and pass as arguments year month of year which is here and lastly pass day of month now we create a string variable called date in which we are going to set the format so simple date format dot format and pass as argument calendar dot get time which will obtain the selected time and display that time as toast we are going to write toast dot make text and pass as message the string which, which we had created date now save it and 
and run your program click on ok so here is our output if we click on this button we see this date picker dialog and if we select any of the date and click on ok then it shows the corresponding toast of that date next let us learn about time picker dialog for that go to android studio and follow those three steps of creating class variables so we create class variable button time picker button obtain its xml control in the form of java object for that use find view by id and pass as argument r.id.timepicker dialog next we set on click listener to this button for that go down and write time picker button dot set on click listener within which pass as argument new view dot on click listener and which overrides on click method now we go in the above code and copy these three statements and paste it over here change the title to time picker so after this we are also going to need the calendar instance so copy this line and paste it in our code over here and next we create time picker dialog equals new time picker dialog within which we pass as argument main activity dot this the second argument as new time picker dialog dot on time set listener which overrides the method on time set let us complete the arguments of this first so we'll write calendar dot get and pass as argument calendar dot hour of the day next argument as calendar dot get and pass as argument calendar dot minute and the last argument as false and after which we write time picker dialog dot show to show this dialog or display this dialog and if you want to generate a toast of the selected time then we write toast dot make text and within which we pass as message hour of day and also minute now save your code run it and click on ok so here is our output if we click on this button so it gives us an option to select R if we select 6 and if we select the minute as suppose 50 and select PM and click on OK then it generates the corresponding toast and if we cancel the dialog then the dialog closes so if you like our video please share and subscribe thank you for watching for more tutorials please visit backbenchescoding.com